And so, yeah, I'm Andy. Uh, I had the chance to lead a fantastic team and I'm excited to tell you all about what we've done. So I'll pass it to Bob to kick us off. All right, so here is our agenda. We have two phases in our project in total. We first work on the Discord server of our client. We, I will introduce our client very soon. Um, but in, in the middle of our working process, something happened. We will go to, we'll also go to something very soon that forced us to move to our second phase. Uh, we eventually work on a content creation app uh, that is available for our client. And here is our client, Matt Uphan. He himself is a software engineer. He is a front-end engineer, to be specific. And he, he is also a content creator and influencer on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. He has about um, 510K followers on TikTok, which makes him a pretty solid influencer. He, he, makes, he basically makes those... Um, videos, educational videos about technology and artificial intelligence and those kind of things. Um, and our project, both our project uh, is in is in position to assist him. He also uh, he also owns a Discord server and he, as an influencer, he always needs to create something. Hello, I'm Lucy. Uh... Our first goal was to increase Matt's Discord retention over 20% in order for him to qualify for the partnership program. However, that was discontinued about maybe three weeks into our project. So we pivoted over to content generation where we uh, first scraped a bunch of data from YouTube, Reddit, and a news API. And then we would use ChatGPT to summarize it and then feed that into a topic model in order to sort it into different topics for like video idea generation. Okay, so just to go deeper into what Lucy said, um, so we made a content like idea generator, which basically just generates like talking points and like ideas for the videos. So basically, we just scraped like um, videos from YouTube, stuff from Reddit, and also articles from News API, which is basically um, news sources. And then we put that into ChatGPT and um, make like a summary of all these things. And then we also group them by topics. Like some of them could be about like cybersecurity. Some of them could be about like hardware or like technology these days and stuff. And then we organized all this into a Google spreadsheet. And then we put this all into like a user-friendly platform. So you can like use it. It's easy to use. And this user-friendly platform is called Hugging Face. And we're going to show you what that looks like in a minute. All right. So what does our project do? Well, our project help, helped our client, Matt, um, save time on creating content for, for stuff like his YouTube and his TikTok. Um, doing this means like the more videos he has, the more people he can engage with, bring into his community. It also does pretty well in helping generate new ideas and also stays up to date with the latest tech. So here are a couple key aspects that um, we've taken away from this whole guy internship project. So firstly is like big thing was communicating and coordinating with like uh, our teammates and making sure things get done. Uh, secondly was like the project life cycle and like process, like sending whole framework, planning things out, scheduling things. Thirdly was like higher level AI topics, like topic modeling, um, RAG or retrieval augmented generation, um, web scraping, which would be like the Reddit uh, news and the other things that we scraped. And then fourthly, um, we also leveled up our coding skills. So, you know, we all have enhanced our coding skills after doing this, gain experience, it's very helpful. And then finally, it would be like utilizing existing resources, like what we came into this project having and then we've also kind of enhanced those to be used in the future. All right, now I will do a little demo about our project. Oops. Okay, can you guys see this hugging face space? Please give me a thumbs up. Okay. All right, so um, 
here is our what's so called user friendly space. We have five um input spaces in over here. We uh the numbers of Reddit, number of news articles, and number of um YouTube videos. Um, this the YouTube videos we basically scrape the uh, the the text of the, that video and turns that into um into into te into text form into dot CSV form. Um, you can you can you can modify how many pieces um you want from each each resources. For example, over here we have ten pieces from Reddit, ten pieces from news in news API, and ten pieces from YouTube videos. Um, you may need to want you may want to get a GPT key by yourself because this um the summarizing thing is is based on ChatGPT. Um, this is very, this can be easily get on the OpenAI's official website, and GPT four point five will be free and four will be a little bit costly but not that costly. And over here we can choose from three point five Turbo and four these two models. And four will be uh, as I said a relatively more expensive. But it will be much more strong, much stronger than three point five turbo. And over here, we will have a Google Sheet. I will, I will demo this in very, very soon, in one minute, where all of our summarized text go eventually, and makes it even more easy, even easier to view. And this is our top modeling thing. Top modeling is already a very detailed, low level words, I would say. But what what it basically do is. It will highlight those words appears the most in the things we scrapped from these two three sources. So we can see over here, um, Apple, iPhone, Google. These these words are like on 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 hot. They are on fire. I, Apple just released their 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 latest iPhone, right? So over here we have a graph about these these themes. What is being discussed the most? And here is our Google Sheet. A very well organized Google Sheet. For each run, our app will output two Google Sheet. One is where those topics goes over here, and another one is a very detailed um sources. We have a title of the article, the where it comes from, the URL of that article, and the summarization produced by GPT four, and the top points I believe also provided by GPT four. This will definitely definitely help Matt as a content generator. Imagine when you when you are out of ideas and you use this hugging this easy to use hugging face actually provided by Gradio also. Um, it, you input some random things and wait for like five or six minutes, then all these ideas come to your mind, and you have another ten a hundred videos available for you. All right. Um, and. Thank you guys so much for listening. I believe this summarized our guided internship. Yeah, awesome stuff, round applause. Right, uh, Jackson, did you have a few words for the team? Yeah, thank you guys so much for you know sticking with us through this. Thank you, Andy, for powering through it, uh, bringing up that decision to pivot and. Uh, this is definitely going to be a tool that's super helpful for Matt Upham because he expressed in the past that, you know, it takes him hours upon hours each day to gather all these sources by hand, watch through them, filter out what's good, what's bad, and then really curate kind of what you guys have, that list of talking points. So now it's like a 10-minute a process that does all the work for him. So right there, time is money, and you've saved him a lot of time. Therefore, that's worth money. So. Proud of you guys. For sure. All right. Anyone else have any questions? I guess Good not. Stuff. Good stuff. Like what are the what are the most um I would say memorable or maybe like useful things you actually learn you know, in this process? Other than not giving up and you know try to pivot when things doesn't work. Uh, I learned a lot about how like topic models work and more of the, like the language side of models because previously during like our uh, summer camp, I had only worked yeah. with like computer vision. Yeah, so now you're working a little bit on language models. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also learned about a lot about like data manipulation from like about J um JSON and CSV, just like converting mm -hmm. those and then just manipulating JSON and nested mm -hmm. JSON too. Mm -hmm. So one thing I think, you know, this is maybe Jackson would appreciate and Blake and, you know, appreciate 
um, that is, uh, there are very few people actually that, you know, knows both data science as well as engineering, right, to some degree. Um, so, you know, in order for you to be very effective, it's actually very interesting to be good and capable at both. You need a T skill, you know, kind of shape, but, you know, for your age, you know, you can actually grow both of them. So when you are, you know, feeling your data science, you know, is pretty strong, then do more engineering stuff. If, if your engineering is pretty strong, then do more data science stuff. And then gradually those two will talk to each other and you become like, um, like a super powered, you know, person, right? So uh, making sure you understand these things and they actually require a little bit different thinking. Uh, you know, one is a little bit more statistical inquisitive in nature. Uh, so that's of course, data science. Engineering is always about processes, about systems, uh, about best practices, about writing modular code, right? There's, you know, best books about those things as well. Uh, so it's really important, I, in my personal opinion, to be good at both. Uh, and that's a superpower, yeah.